Hello everyone, welcome to North and South version 1, the closed beta as it stands at the moment. And uh, this is a slightly different event. You can see here the fine fellows of the New York State Militia. Goodness me. Edward Fowler, the fine Mr. Diplex in there as well, leading the 14th New York State Militia. Good God, look at these guys. Well, precisely. And obviously, we've got standing out on the battlefield, looking completely out of place. Young Parrot in there as well. Young Ma Mistress Parrot today, looking fine in developer uniform, otherwise known as Bullet Magnet. So we just have to wait and see. So here's the Union and the Confederacy off. Now, for those of you who have been um, noticing, there has been some uh, issues relating to uh, graphical glitches and things of that nature on the videos now one thing that i've done as a result of that i've spoken to a few colleagues and i've actually upped the bit rate oh god hinkles in address that's always a worrying thing to see um i've upped the bit rate of the recording by a factor of 400 percent now what that means is it makes the original recording file a huge huge file in comparison to the other ones uh, that's my issue not yours um but it also means then that the end result video should have less graphical glitches. So we'll just have to wait and see how that turns out. So Edward Fowler making his way past one of the wooden bridges down by the creek. God, that sounds like a song almost, doesn't it? And getting himself ready. Now over on the other side, you can see the Confederate States getting involved. And holy crap, look at that. Ben Skull 90 with a headshot onto William Riker already. Long distance shot coming in there. Fantastic as Private Carolus there from the 19th Louisiana Volunteers, I believe they are, the LVs. And you've obviously got in here also from the 19th. And look at that. I keep, I, every time I see LV, I think of Las Vegas, but you know, what can I say? Las Vegas didn't exist. Ah, Mr. Turtle from the 3rd Arkansas. And over the other side here, also from Arkansas. Now, we're following these guys. You see John Reed managing to catch a bullet with his forehead. Looking good from that. Ah! As to cast, second lieutenant, the 10th, Louisiana. Fine fluting occurring. And who's this? Nurse Philomena, medic of choice for the 10th, Louisiana. And John the... John Lethensmith, goodness me, what a name. And look at that, a kill from Asia. And you can see the rules being reiterated by Brigadier General Reznov. And let's see if we can get an idea of what's going on with respect to the general overall strategy that these two forces are going up against each other. Oh dear! Sharp, sharpshooter Macmillan murdered horribly. And let's see if we can find out more sharpshooters from Louisiana. And here is the mass line of the New York State Militia moving across the bridge. Down onto the edge of the river to make use of that additional cover. Probably moving up towards... Oh dear. Looks like they've lost a few people over there. Not looking good. You can see them crossing the bridge. They've been sniped on the bridge here. And you can see Rich, uh, Richard Cassidy also being finished off. You can see the puffs in the centre of the screen. And down goes Hinkle. Killed by the third Arkansas. Connemere has taken down Hinkle. So Mistress Hinkle is no more. Oh dear. And look at this. Look at this fusillade of fire coming in. And down goes Edward Fowler. Killed by the cavalry. Look at that. The cavalry coming in and doing a number onto the New York State Militia. This is brutal as they are making their way over the uh, side of that. And yeah, this is nasty. This is really nasty. As you can see here. El, Co El Soldado. Yes, okay. And now you can see the New York State Militia. James Bianco. They're trying to defend themselves as best they can. And you can see here the Iron Brigade Staff Captain St. Clair. In with the sword, and they did a fantastic job. They cut down the leader. They cut the leader to death. Absolutely butchered him. And now the New York State Militia is leaderless. However, they do have significant numbers. And you can see poor old Wagstaff, Private 14th State, 14th New York State Militia has bled quietly to death. So now it's time for the New York State Militia to 
sort themselves out, get themselves reorganised, regroup and move on. Leading the line is Sergeant Major Owen Coleman. Now over here, uh, First Lieutenant Donkey of the Connecticut Brigade, Coltrane getting involved and so over here, Staff Captain Sinclair from the Iron Brigade, fine fellows, great name from the history books I have to say as you can see him getting involved without coming out with what looks to be a doesn't look to be a navy or an army cult it just looks to be a standard cult six shooter but I could be wrong anyway let's just see what's going on as now you can see the New York state militia moving up in force up through the center and the 14th Brooklyn in the railroad cut. Oh goodness me, look at this. The 5th Florida also doing a fantastic job of raising the fire against the enemy. Here with the Jackson Teller, captain of the 5th Florida. You can see these guys, McConaughey. And also Edward Kenway and Jack Daniels still alive. But now the New York State Militia are getting involved with the battle in the center here. Going up against those fens from Connecticut. Florida as well. As the New York State Militia continues. Returning. As you can see over here. Brigadier General Vivar. Fine braid. Also in here as well. You can see from the 55th Alabama. Cabo Jimenez. Manuel Pro. Not happy with his 440 ping. Oh, who's that with the pistol? Captain Assier from the 55th Alabama. And down goes John McDonald, barged to death by the floor. By the floor, by the horse even. As oh, there's Blut Suente, Ohio private. Fine gentleman picks up the flag. in the flag now let's see have a look at the numbers 55 and 5 oh god the union's in deep doo-doo now no we've lost recruit mittens recruit mittens has been killed staff lieutenant that theodore has just murdered mittens and down goes also charlie the turtle now let's see if we can find out what's going on with the remaining members of the union Looks like there may be a punch-up going on over here. Not sure exactly what's going on. 55th Alabama. Anyway, bringing the General Reznov out with the Sabre. Oh, he's going to get a, a push down very carefully. Oh, no, he managed to get in and get Haddad as well. And Nathan Smith also finished off as well. So, St. Clair. Paboying. What a fine name, sir. A recruit Harper as well. So, let's see if we can find these guys. Here. Oh, listen to that cannon, beautiful cannon coming in there from the Confederate State Army. They're crashing in the background as we now look for the remaining members of the Union forces. Brigadier General Vivar looking for them, scouting out. Oh, here we go. Down goes recruit Harper, rifle butted to death. And <laughs> epic pizza is no more. Dear, oh dear. Poor Epic Pizza. Who's this getting involved? And down finally goes Paboying. And ladies and gentlemen, the Confederate State Army has won that first round. And we shall move on to the next. And so we return. I need to stop saying that because it's obviously we return because we come back into the video. Ugh. Never mind. Oh dear. Mortimer's murdered himself already. Private Oil Tycoon, slippery customer. You can see a little bit of high kicking going on here in the members of the 1st Connecticut. Corporal Demon. And let's see. Oh, quick reset. Apparently the RT on the one side has derped out. So these things tend to happen. And there we go. As we fly through the trees into the creek. With shallow entry, as you can see, these guys to make their way across. Quite easy in that regard. 
and you could even say that this is probably also a creek and you can see that the flooding will cause it to come down this way as well so part road whoops I think um, yeah I think there's a little bit of dissension in the ranks there which Draconir has now dealt with obviously courtesy of a bullet and here is Iverson Brigadier General Vivar scouting for the enemy cannons being set up by the Confederate state second lieutenant Birch and recruit Stevens unlimbering the cannon look at that that pattern work on the back of that cannon is that lovely so there we go cannon gets put in gets rammed home and these guys are gonna sit up looks like we've got some guards in there as well first Ohio one of his frame uh, one of his friends Arno taking cover behind the rock let's move out and see what's going on as more Confederate states. Louisiana Volunteers, veteran Private Simon moving out along with led by Epic Pizza, second lieutenant. A fine epic name for an epic battle. And up on the hill there you can see Carolus as well. So let's get an idea, see if we can see where these guys are coming from. Oh goodness me, did you see that cannonball? Oh wow. Louisiana volunteers managed to avoid that by the skin of their teeth. You can see here the imprint, imprint on the earth of said cannonball bouncing past their noses. Coming up to support them, the first CA. You're mine. Hmm. Now, I would say they could be California, no, but it's probably Connecticut. Connecticut Army or something along those lines. Anyway. Who's this fellow? Oh, fine engineer. No, a medic, no less. Look at this. Sergeant Major Barron from the Louisiana Volunteers is the medic of choice. Helping to stop that bleeding in the battlefield. Very important role in version 1.0 of North and South. And now you can see here. In Tennessee. Manuel Pro. On their right flank, Florida. Also getting involved, the 51st. Now, let's see down here. As there we go, the 55th Alabama. Cabo Jimenez getting involved as well as, oh my goodness, look at this. Fine headshots coming in. We haven't seen a dead parrot yet, but we're probably going to at some point. Poor parrot. As there is Colonel Martin. And you can see more fire continuing. 14th New York State Militia taking some casualties. As you can see these guys getting set up. They're trying to hold that point. Louisiana Volunteers moving over onto the right flank. Who's that person on the horse? Looks like a commanding officer. Very general-like. And there is Blutzwente, random horse. And here, the defensive position of the 68th New York. You see these guys trying to defend themselves. Volunteer Otto will be loading up. There we go. You can see him putting the bayonet on. Oh dear, poor old Redding goes down from the New York State Militia. Let's see if we can lock in. Oh, here's, here's the reason why New York State Militia got into a mass battle going on here with the members of the enemy forces oh down goes frederick adams killed by brigadier general vivar and let's see who's getting involved as well six uh ninth new york i should say and they're going up against the likes of captain assier he is now down more murdering occurring as you can see the new york state militia continuing as we're looking at alabama no we're not <laughs> oh dear now it could all be over there first Connecticut Cor Corporal Demon gets taken down and now what's got <clears throat> yeah this is this always happens <laughs> oh god there's something wrong with these people always happens in Mountain Blade especially in North and South 
just always hitching a ride on the cannons is pretty much the standard fare for these guys. It wouldn't be mountain blade Napoleonic Wars or North and South unless they did. Aha, the first United States sharpshooters. Sergeant Harris. Epic Pizza. Leading the guys forward. Well, precisely. At the rear, Sergeant Major Baron, the medic. These guys making their way through the cornfields. As the Confederacy won the, f won the battle, wow, in pretty substantial form. As we move on to the next round. We'll be right back. Oh dear, a good start there as uh, sharpshooter Clint manages to take out the enemy. Um, unfortunately, the enemy was on his own side at the time anyway. Theodore, as we are on the next round now. And you can see a recently crashed with a pair of legs. Oh dear, that's not good. Look at that. That's pretty harsh. So not only was it a bad crash, you lost your horses, as you can see. He also lost his legs. So, a very, very unfortunate situation under the circumstances, as you can see here. Theodore, Staff Lieutenant for Hayes. As we're looking at the 9th New York. Moving out. Look at these guys. Don't they look fantastic? And we go for a reset. <laughs> fun and games ladies and gentlemen fun and games so let us see as it seems to darken suddenly I'm not sure if that was my eyesight going and let's see if we can find out ah oh, there he is there's Edward Good old Eddie leading the people forward from the New York State Militia. Look at these guys. Fine guys threading their way between the buildings. Well, some of them are. God, look at all these guys. Come on, guys. Get together. How hard can it be going single file? Come on, lads. There we go. Wow, big long line. Ah, Hinkle. And, of course, Mistress Parrot. So, as you can see, the dynamic girls of the North and South Development Team, Hinkle and Parrot. Don't they look lovely and buxom this evening? Fine lasses. Albeit, how the hell they managed to ride wearing a corset is beside me. Anyway... They are following in with Sergeant Harris from the 1st United States Sharpshooters. As these guys... Oh, goodness me. Look at this. Keeping the stars and stripes low. Look at that. Oh, dear. Fantastic. And the whole New York State Militia stands up as one. And we're waiting for the volley. Oh, my goodness. What a volley that was. Fantastic. <coughs> and unfortunately, they killed no one whatsoever. Technical problems. These are details that we will gloss over for the sake of good entertainment. <laughs> so, uh, never mind. Never mind. As the lads move out. So, let's go and see who their prospective... Oh, dear. Who their prospective opponents were. Their targets that they were aiming for. And bear in mind, they were shooting quite some distance. I mean, you know, 300 yards is sort of standard for one of these mini balls that you would be shooting. But under the circumstances and these guys are behind cover so those fences would have taken those shots as well and so you can see Karanus from the 9th, 19th and Louisiana Volunteers getting out moving to one side over here on the side Franz Siegel the general from German Brigade as you can see firing his pistol with a plum oh god down goes Stangate sharpshooters from Louisiana. Oh, hey, look at this. Here we come across the river with Private Donkey. Oh, First Lieutenant Donkey. He's out of promotion. Oh, he's getting his, he's getting himself wet. This is going to be difficult for him. Are they going to do a bit of officer aiming? It looks like they might be going for it. Oh, look at that. 
as down recruit Harper bleeds to death courtesy of Epic Pizza. Pizza's bad for you, ladies and gentlemen. As here's Private Stud. Oh dear! No! We lost Donkey, shot in the back by a sharpshooter, Anaru, or Anarcho, killing him, and down goes the horse of Blutwente. Now moving to get cover as Brigadier General Franz Seigel from the German Brigade. Oh, cannonballs from IFV into multiple members of the 14th New York State Militia. Oh, heavens. People dying left, right and centre. Brutal, brutal fire going on here. As it looks like the New York State Militia are going to be going for a river crossing. Yes, that's exactly what they're doing. And it's going to be a very dangerous situation for them. Edward Fowler leading from the front as per usual. Some of the team pausing, some of the guys pausing to stop. That's going to be a difficult situation for them. Patrick Island dies in the river. His body washed away with the other Flotsam and Jetsam. Also getting her feet wet. It is, of course, Mistress Hinkle, or Madam Hinkle, I suppose we should say, under the circumstances. Not looking too bad today. So, horses clatter past as the push through the woods continues from the New York State Militia. Old Glory being held up, held up with pride, who's holding the colours today. It is Lorraine Lo Roebuck, private for the New York State Militia. You can see them. Oh, look at this over here on one side. Probably looking, going, looks like going for the covers. Look out, Roebuck. This is going to be an unfortunate problem. Roebuck, cow. Oh, this is not good for Roebuck. Holding onto that flag as best he can. He's coming under fire from all directions. And coming under a little bit of rifle butt action from Aztecas. Second Lieutenant from Louisiana. Oh, look at that. The flag is down. And the flag has been captured. Aztecas has taken Old Glory. And is running away with it. Away from the members of the New York State Militia. The flag has been dropped. Recruit Mittens has been murdered. Edward Fowler murdered. Stabbed to death. As you can see, other members of the forces trying to defend themselves against the attack of the 5th Florida. Craig Lind, New York State Militia. Don't those uniforms look fantastic? Don't these guys look great? And now you can see... Oh, who's the man with the gun? There we go, Fran Siegel getting involved with a pistol. Oh, shot off his horse by Malcolm Lind. Oh, heavens above. Protecting his teammates, doing a fantastic job, only then to get stabbed in the belly. Very unfortunate now. Who's following up here? This is Staff Lieutenant Theodore. He's off his horse. Down goes Mitchell, sh stabbed by one of the few remaining members of the New York State Militia. As recruit Frederick Adams finally gets finished off. So, 6 and 48. The Confederacy again doing a fantastic job against the Union. Really doing a number on these guys now. Let's see where these guys are. Because currently they are running like mad. Oh, Colonel Brutus, United States, uh, United States sharpshooters, out with a rifle, but look at this. Oh, shot in the bottom until mine finally shot down there by Theodore. So, fine murdering going on there as one remaining member of the Union forces. And the slaying has done. And there you go. Death by firing squad. And we move on. To the next round. And so we are back on the next round after what appears to be a map change. This is very similar to one of the original maps from the uh, previous version of North and South. We hear some fifage. Some drumming, old oh, parrot. Parrot with fine drumming skills. Always a pleasure to see musicians. And some new music available for the flop fife and the drums. So uh, special thanks, especially for me, because I love musicians in this game and in Napoleonic Wars um, for uh, this particular game. Okay. Um, so I am a great big huge fan of that. Anyway, let's just see.
let's see, as we're following cavalry moving out. Bit of horn work going on there. Jeb Stewart, J.B. Stewart. Yeah, that's a gentleman. That was a general in the original battles and the war. Name from history. It wasn't actually Jeb, it was J.E.B. Stewart. One of the generals. Anyway, proving his ability to use his horn as Colonel the Sandman. From Virginia. Looking. Waiting. And the Renadi. Oh, the horn's out again. So. Thomas Snow. Look at this line of the New York State Militia. And it looks like, actually, what the New York State Militia have decided to do is split their numbers up. So they've got two lines coming out. So you've got these guys here under the uh, command of the corporal, I believe. Let's see. Or maybe, no, under, oh, there we go, under the command of the Sergeant Major, Owen Coleman. And then, obviously, Colonel Fowler is leading the main line of the New York State Militia forces up the front. There he is. The man himself, the man, the legend, the bullet magnet that is Diplex. Anyway, so let's see if we can find out what's going on. As there we go, Darfish recruits for the 9th New York, holding the colours with pride. And his colleagues twitching nearby, as you can see. Kind of the norm for this game. Oh, George Snow, victim of recruit Stevens from Ohio. As we're now looking at the 4th Texan, Private Catalina moving up as well. Rip indeed, ladies and gentlemen, rip indeed. Poor George Snow. Why me, he says. As you can hear, Sergeant Scartita getting involved with the up front and personal. And down goes Patrick Island from the New York State Militia as well. Another one from Recruit Stevens. Or Recruit Stevens, I should say. Now, here we go. Medic, Corporal K, 96, no less. Trying to keep his boys alive. And there, of course, the fine mistress Parrot. Doing fantastic drumming work until she stops tipping. God damn you, Parrot. So... Here we go, Virginians getting involved. There's poor old William Riker getting a little bit salty in there from the New York State Militia about his ability to catch cannibals with his forehead. Who seems to be quite good at it as far as I can tell. Let's see if we can go and have a look at the artillery. There's Nofra, CA Private Smudger, Stonewall, le I am Stonewall Left Arm. With a cornet, volunteer underby, Casey Tatum, Sergeant Mitchell, Kayla Thompson, Major Caesar, George Nielsen's taken down, Private Stud, John Reed, there's McConaughey, Bal Haddad, Thomas Rooney, Frederick Adams, Major Jacob, or Jacob, Recruit Schneiser. John McDonald, Colonel Brutus, of course, the fine members of the United States Sharpshooters. Colonel Tiernan from 1st Connecticut. 55th Alabama, Sergeant Rodriguez. Sergeant Williams from Louisiana Volunteers. Jack Daniels from the 5th Florida. Thimberbell, or Thimberbile. Lefebvre, Charles Lefebvre from the 9th. Medic Peritini, look at this fine, brave fellow. Although he doesn't appear to be in his medic outfit, maybe. I don't know, difficult to say. James Henry, following up with the New York State Militia, as looks like Cameron Donahue gets taken down as they're pushing up against the... Oh, dear. Another person just gets hit. You can see him working, whipping his men. Go faster, go faster. 
as poor old Hampton is no more. And here you can see. I'm not going to say it's California, I would say it's Connecticut Army, but now we've got Sandman getting involved. Ah, oh dear. We've lost a bit of music. As now you can see Thomas Morrow from the New York State Militia making their way around the side here. Oh dear! Casey Tatum taken down. As you can see them pushing this point as quickly as they can. Oh, standing in the open is not going to go well for Thomas Rooney. He gets cut down with a headshot from Tenford. From Tennessee. Defending themselves. And Parrot suddenly realises he's been left behind. Poor Parrot. As it looks like numbers of the New York State Militia getting into melee now in the cornfields and barley fields. Mostly corn. Looks very corn like, yes it does. Continuing the musical accompaniment is of course Parrot. There you go, new music. Fantastic. Fantastic. Always a pleasure to see musicians in this game. Anyway, let's have a look at the numbers, get an idea of what's going on. 66 to 32. So currently the Confederacy still has the advantage. Captain Melso. From the 3rd Arkansas. Look at this fine beard on this gentleman. That serious beardage going on there, boys and girls. There's Private Conomir following up at the rear. Fear Ripper. wonder what that said there for a second. Catalina. Ah, Edward Fowler's not dead. Look at that. Good heavens, what's going on? Who would have thunk it? As now... We follow, and here is the medic, obviously, healing his boys. Not so much healing as he is punching them, but we'll have to wait and see. As there's sharpshooter Clint from Louisiana. <coughs> Firing into the camera. Lovely. As these guys from the Louisiana Volunteers. I'm not sure what MO is. I'll have to double check. As there is PFC Vald. Uh, it could be MO, it could be Michigan. I mean, MI is normally Michigan, so. There's Mr. Sandman, Colonel of the 1st Virginia. Out comes the Sabre. As he passes by the 4th Texan. Recruit Tyexiel Amo. God, what a name. Darth Arno. And also getting involved over here. Third Arkansas. You can hear the musical accompaniment of Parrot in the background. And this will be the last round, ladies and gentlemen. Look at these guys pushing through. As the New York State Militia is getting butchered as it stands. Brutal, brutal event. Brutal, brutal things. And obviously, keep it all light-hearted in the background, is musical accompaniment by Parrot. So. Oh god, it's all Cav. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to go musician next round with the horn. Just for lols. Oh dear! Looks like we've lost some of the Texans as they're pushing in towards this house being defended. The final stand of the Union Army. And somebody's in there playing with his organ. Oh goodness me, look at that as we look in through the window. It's brutal, brutal murder, mass murder, genocide, slicing and dicing and blood everywhere. And I think there was only one person in there. 
So we have Shinji, Gimli, and Aymeric. Let's see. There we go. And we're on to the fun rounds. We'll be right back. Fine horn work from Chad today. Right, let's get in there. Where the cavalry fun is beginning. Oh God, look at that. Listen to that, that is just ridiculous. Pistol fire everywhere. <laughs> oh God. No, you buggers. Damn it, I got drive by Drive by in north and south, that's just brutal. As they continue their cavalry shenanigans. More cavalry continues. That's a shitload of cav. <laughs> what are you doing? What is Sergeant Mitchell from Ohio doing? Silly Sergeant Mitchell. There's Mr. Turtle, of course. No man shall pass. <laughs> as the point gets proven by Mr. Turtle, as he gets stabbed. And more go down. And so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That has been North and South for this week. Something a little bit different today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And we shall see you again more. I'll see you again next time for more. It helps if I say it the right way round, really, doesn't it? Never mind. Details, details, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next time. Take care.